What's up guys this is Brian C and welcome to another Gampla review okay what we have here today is the high grade 1144 scale RMS 119 EWAC Zac this is actually a variant of the high Zac as you guys can see here right now for comparison okay so there's a couple of things that we will be discussing for this episode number one is where I actually got this uh, beast here number two the build of this kit number three the mobility number four the issue and finally number five the history of this mobile suit here okay let's get right to it shall we okay so i actually purchased uh, this kit here at the um, otakaton 2017 in montreal canada this was not originally in the list of kits that I actually wanted to purchase in my uh, top 20. But it was still on the list of variants that I really do want to purchase. So the price was actually quite right. So I ended up purchasing this. I actually waited till day 3, the last day of the Otakaton, just to purchase this kit. And I was actually quite surprised that no one even bothered picking this variant up and this is actually a variant like I mentioned already a variant of the Hyzac here okay now for um, building this kit here it took me a couple of hours me taking the time it wasn't that it's not that bad actually but there is actually quite an issue now this I believe is a, a reprinted kit and this is actually, um, there's actually a lot of noobs here. Now, I've actually done the best I can uh, fixing the noobs. But the closer inspection, you'll see um, the sanded areas there. I do plan on actually painting this kit here. So, I didn't do much. And as you guys can see, there's only two main basic colors. You get the blue. And you get the light blue. I call this um, color here um, a toilet color. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I it's not that bad. I just this actually this color reminds me of a washroom, but um, the way it's designed, it's really good. Okay, now let's talk about the mobility of this kit here. And afterwards, I'll start talking about the issues. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's actually in an action base right now. And um, okay, let's take this off here. And I'll show you guys. Um, the mobility of this kit. Now, it actually can stand on its own. Even though it looks like it. It looks like it looks like it's back heavy it's actually not there's nothing um, nothing pulling it down <laughs> it's actually not bad it uh, there is actually a part here that uh, keeps uh, the head from going backwards and uh, even without this it can still stand on its own without any issue now We'll do a little bit of testing here. The head can move without any issues at all. 
Now it can only go so far because of uh, the mobility issue. Well, certain issues which I'll discuss in a little bit here. But overall, not bad. Now for the arms. Now, not bad. It can move to a specific degree here. This, uh, the left arm. And the right arm. And the weapon. It's kind of in an odd position here, but it's not bad. The feet. The legs. Okay, not bad. And let's try kneeling this. Get here. That's one of the ultimate tests also. <laughs> Sadly, looks like it can't kneel. If I actually push it too much, it might actually snap off. Okay, now you guys have seen the mobility issue. This part here can be moved. And I actually forgot to install one part here. There you go. Okay, not bad at all, not bad. Okay, now let's talk about the issues um, for this kit here. Now this part here can fall off easily, just like that. Now there's plenty of ways to fix this, which I'll be discussing about in a later video. If I get five likes, I might actually work on it right away. But though, yeah, not bad. Okay. And uh, the issues are the noobs, definitely, if you don't sand it properly. And uh, this piece here, well, it's actually quite tight. But, <laughs> okay. Okay, and the other issue is the spikes hitting one of the pods here. Okay, the head can't move up and down. And the next issue is that. Even though I get the piece here already, to supposedly keep it in place, it will still fall off. So you're definitely going to need something to keep this from... Uh, falling off and I actually get a remedy for that very very simple remedy which like I mentioned if I get five likes for this video or more I'll uh, create a tutorial a very very easy tutorial <laughs> okay so and one of the gimmicks here is this is supposed to be moving so that's maybe one of the possibilities why it's so loose. Okay, and the issue for this is the collar. It's just one, two main collars here. I didn't even bother to put the sticker. And uh, yeah, that's one of the things that actually uh, puts me off. Okay, um, I guess that's it. Oh. Yeah, that's it for uh, the issues. There's nothing much uh, issue here. Oh yeah, the arms here. Kind of an odd way, but not exactly an issue. Hmm. Actually, let's do a shake test here, shall we? See if anything's going to fall off aside from the disc. Sorry to do this, guys. Okay, nothing fell off. Oh, I forgot uh, to mention one part of the mobility issue, the waist turns. 
Okay. Now let's go on ahead and discuss about the history of this uh, mobile suit. Oh yeah, I actually did forget to mention that there are actually parts to convert this into a normal Hizak, which is not bad at all. It is a complete set, so there's gonna be no issues at all um, placing it. Um, for this one here, the shield, you're definitely gonna need an extra poly cap because you really don't want to take the shoulder guard apart. But overall, yeah, three colors, three variants. If you feel the need to have three Hyzaks in your collection or two Hyzaks and one reconnaissance type. Okay, be back in three, two, one. Okay guys, I am back. Okay, and so you guys will notice right away that I am actually accessing uh, my laptop here. And you guys will find out anyway that I am using Gundam Wikia for all my information. I only know bits and pieces of the histories of each mobile suit, but I'm not going to be able to remember them all. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's start off with the color scheme of this uh, mobile suit here. Now, this specific color scheme comes from the African Liberation Front. They actually captured the e, uh, one Ewak Zack and painted it to their own colors. Now, what is the African Liberation Front? Well, for the Universal Century, <laughs> the Universal Century, they are a group of ace pilots um, attempting to keep the African nation from falling from uh, keeping the African nation from falling into uh, different factions like the Earth Federation, Neo Zion, or Ayugs. And from what I heard, they are really good pilots. <laughs> okay, now, now for the actual history of this mobile suit, how this came to be, well, this is a variant of the Hyzak, which you guys can see from my left. The AU Earth Federation color and the Titan color here. Now, this is actually a distant relative of the Zaku reconnaissance type from the One Year War. Now, this uh, kit is actually uh, got the, your basic armaments. Excuse me, I think I believe it's called the um, machine uh, Zaku machine gun Kai. Yeah, Zako Machine Gun Kai, which is an upgraded version of the Zako Machine Gun. Now, it actually... <laughs> I'm sorry. Kind of pushed a little bit too far here. Now, it actually does have its own basic um, shield here. But the, the most important uh, piece for this uh, here, it's its uh, dome-shaped head. This uh, unit is specifically built to do a recon to find the enemy strength. So practically, it actually got its own radar system. And the best part here is on top of um, the one eye here. Apologies, I didn't put the 
mono eye it actually have another mono eye right underneath here to actually conduct surveillance of the enemy so they practically send this units uh, into the battlefield um, before or after the battle due to the fact that the Minovsky particle does affect um, its uh, reconnaissance uh, capability now now it actually does have a couple of uh, unique features here I believe this is uh, the monopod here that actually stores data and if uh, the suit is um, about to be captured or destroyed this uh, specific parts here can be jettisoned towards friendly um, I believe friendly uh, safe zones and uh, from the history it actually states that um, this uh, that the data is highly encrypted so you get your basic uh, basic military tactics you gather you gather um, reconnaissance against your enemy on the battlefield before or after and if the unit is about to get captured even if they manage to uh, retrieve uh, the data pods it is highly encrypted and the enemy will not be able to retrieve um, retrieve any data okay so um, I guess that's all I got for now <laughs> but aside from that there is um, additional uh, items here usually there's uh let's see here from what i can see there's supposed to be a tree to missile pods on each hips but uh, this one doesn't have it it does have it's a basic um basic shield and a beam saver hmm actually there is no beam saver that came with this kit here and um it only uh, I only got the Zako machine gun Kai here, which is kind of basic, kind of sad. Hmm. Just being honest here, <laughs> I kind of do want the additional weapon systems here, but since this is actually specifically built to do reconnaissance uh, type, it is actually forgivable. <laughs> now, now there's actually a few things I do want to add before I end this video here. The mobility of this kit is not bad. I actually like it. As you guys can see here, I'm actually positioning it right now where it looks like it's uh, backing off. Not bad. And um, yeah, this actually went up the issues. And um, it actually comes with the extra parts here. As you guys can see the on the pictures, I think I already mentioned that on on the first part. It's really not that bad of a kit. I really actually like the design, the weird shape design. A mobile suit that is not built to fight but just to gather reconnaissance. But if it does get attacked, it still have its uh, basic shield and uh, the Zako machine gun Kai. Okay, so um, that is all I have for this uh, episode here, guys. If you guys actually like my uh, videos, like comment and subscribe and uh, if you do have any issues regarding my uh, presentation of the kits please do leave it in the comment section below i re it will be really great to get a um, some constructive criticism for me to be able to improve all my future uh, reviews and unboxing okay this is Brian C, aka Traveling Pinoy. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys later. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. Brian C, signing out.